More than one in 20 women has gestational diabetes during pregnancy. Hi, I'm Dr. Camille Poe, an endocrinologist and co-director of the Diabetes and Pregnancy Program at Mass General. Gestational diabetes is high blood sugars first diagnosed in pregnancy. Gestational diabetes can be associated with a variety of complications for mother and baby. These complications can be mild, that go away with treatment, or more serious. But we can decrease the risk of most of these complications by treating high blood sugars in pregnancy. In the past, we didn't know about gestational diabetes, but we knew that if people with diabetes got pregnant, they had a very poor prognosis. The maternal and fetal mortality associated with diabetes in pregnancy was over 50%, and we didn't know how to treat it. But once insulin was discovered 100 years ago, we realized that if you lower the blood sugars during pregnancy, you could dramatically improve the maternal and fetal mortality. And a lot of that work was done at the Boston Lying In Hospital, which eventually became part of Mass General Brigham. As progress in treating diabetes was made, we realized that even people who did not have diabetes before pregnancy could have high blood sugars while they were pregnant that impacted the health of them and their babies. Because of this, we started looking for gestational diabetes in all pregnant women by giving everyone who's pregnant a blood sugar test. Today, after a person is diagnosed with gestational diabetes, usually in the second half of pregnancy, we give them a machine called a glucometer, which they use to check their blood sugars with the prick of a finger four times a day. The first treatment that we try for gestational diabetes is to modify the diet to help lower the blood sugars. We give our patients a personalized nutrition plan because each person's body responds really differently to different foods. It may seem simple, but we also recommend walking after meals to bring down the blood sugar after eating. If blood sugars are still above target, we usually recommend insulin as our first choice medication. A pill called metformin is another option. Here at Mass General Brigham, we're actively researching new ways to personalize the treatment of gestational diabetes based on an individual's unique genetic and hormonal profile. We also hope to use the same strategies to prevent gestational diabetes from happening in the first place. Trying to really ease the burden that comes with taking care of gestational diabetes by leveraging technologies used in other types of diabetes like type one diabetes. One of those technologies is a continuous glucose monitor, or CGM. A CGM is a device that you wear on your body and connects to your phone using an app and can tell you what your blood sugar is every few minutes. We're doing studies on what healthy blood sugars look like during pregnancy on CGM so that more people with gestational diabetes can use the device in the future. Gestational diabetes is no one's fault. A combination of the risk factors that you had before you were pregnant, along with the hormones that really ramp up during pregnancy, come together to cause the high blood sugars. The good news is that with the help of your doctors and your healthcare team, your gestational diabetes can be taken care of so that you have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby. I'm Dr. Camille Poe. Thanks for watching. For more pregnancy videos, Click here and don't forget to subscribe here.